Okay, January 4th, 2012. I thought I would... I'm very anxious to investigate this teletype. So it's the TT-98 I found out is the correct uh, title for it. So two things today. I'm going to clean up this keyboard and then I am going to unscrew that nut there that whatever it is thumb screw and take that cover off and just look inside fellow at green keys suggested using and he said sparingly is uh, citrus so I'm gonna try that on the keys keys are very sticky and well I think they're engaged with the gear or something but as you can see pretty nasty. So, let's give it a shot and see what happens. I like green keys. The people over there are pretty amazing. So we kind of started with the cue, and that was the old saliva test. We'll start with whatever this key is. Hopefully this isn't too much. Ooh, that's pretty ugly. Can't quite read what it says yet. Looks kind of worn. Hmm. Well, I can't tell if this is taking the pain off or what. Ooh, starting to make progress. Interesting. Whatever is on this key, it is nasty. Ooh. Okay, first key tip down. Second key tip. I was worried there for a second. I didn't think it was working. F. Ooh, figs. We have figs. like this. It's like a surprise. What's going to be under all the grind store, by the way? Goo gone. However, I think I'm going to need more bottles. Come on, Z. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of this. And I'm excited about the space bar. Nasty. That is nasty. So just kick that on. We have to soak a little bit. That was pretty gross. Okay, just suffered my first setback. 
I uh, I dropped the darn Q-tip in there, so got to get that out. Ugh, what a drag. We're back in business. As you can see, it's a uh, pretty bad shape. So, yeah, it is what it is. I think some Novus would take that out and make it look good. Okay, I wanted to clean up the underneath of this, and I'll get directly on that. And uh, here's some of the rust. So it's looking a little bit rough, but... But, eh, we'll see. Did notice something interesting. There's a hole right here in the case. So, I don't know what that's all about. I'm wondering, and it's really pitted. I don't know what this case is made of. I thought it was steel. And this is looking like Bondo or something, or just degrading. So, that's something that will have to be addressed. Okay, let me get to work on the bottom of this. All right, I did this row of keys on the underside. Not perfect, but long for. And then you can tell that this row is not done. So I'm going to go ahead and clean the top side of these keys. I'll see you in a few. I basically have the bottom rows of keys done. I have put orange oil on all the keys and I'm going to let them soak and I am going to take a break. Oh yeah. Woo! Okay, next up I am going to see if I can get that bolt off and take this whole lid off just to take a peek at what I'm up against. Whenever there's a problem, I just like to really shine light on the problem. And whatever is doing this, let's go ahead and get a little oil. In my case, I think in this case a lot of oil and let's see if that does anything and I don't know if that's gonna help but we'll give it a shot I put some oil and the film ran out, but I notice this is now engaging. And Aww. it's a bug in the machine. He's spinning a web. I'll be darned. Okay, done with the initial cleaning. And here is just a quick flyby with uh, my concerns. This is a pretty important piece because this whole carriage moves back and forth here. And there's a lot of uh, corrosion. So we're going to have to check that out. 
Also a little spring broke. I'm not too concerned about that. It went right here. And I'll just contact the small spring factory in uh, factory land. Strange little wire hanging out of the bias. So I'm going to have to figure out what that's to. All in all, it looks to be in good shape. I do have a concern here. I'm hoping those are threaded screws, holes, and I'm hoping nothing goes here. So now I'm going to have to check a schematic or a manual and make sure that nothing was here. Otherwise, I may not have a complete set, and if that's the case, uh, good luck. Okay, see you on the rebound. Okay, every bolt is back in place. Good night, TT Monster.